I'm the Alchemist Astrologer, and this is your Date to Remember Tarot reading for Libra Sun, Libra Rising, and Libra Moon. So I've already laid out your cards, and I have the three dates that are most significant for you in August. The first is the 13th, and this is a day where perhaps you are packing your bags, maybe you're taking a trip, uh, you're thinking about leaving, you're making some travel plans, or maybe you just wish you could escape. On the other hand, it could be a day where you're dealing with some emotional baggage in a relationship due to some past conditions or conditioning. Now, this may mean you're still trying to sort through some childhood patterns, problems with ego, the residue of past relationships. Maybe you're looking at where you've partnered with somebody where you don't really have mutual goals. You just connected based on tragic histories or shared disappointments. And there's an inability, perhaps, to get past some chronic negative behaviors that damage, prevent, or cripple your relationship. So there's some unresolved issues in the way that you engage. This may be connected to somebody that you feel passionate about or that you once felt passionate about. At this point, you may be angry. This was somebody that maybe you desired, maybe you even felt like you loved or you were seduced by, and perhaps you were rushing into something. Now, maybe you're rushing to pack your bags and get out of Dodge, uh, or maybe, you know, you, you're following your bliss or your passion or you're trying to find your passion. Whatever it is, uh, you know, movement is indicated, and excuse me, dealing with uh, negative issues, perhaps. This isn't about travel in the mundane. This is about, you know, again, packing up all that emotional stuff uh, that prevents you from having a fulfilling relationship. You have, I endure the thorn to acquire the rose, which means that sometimes it hurts or things don't go the way you want to, or, you know, there's sacrifice or unpleasantness, but you participate because you know that, you know, the smell of that sweet rose is the end result. Now, the next date you have is not actually a date. It's an energy that's blocking something. So not yet. So something is in the works. Maybe you want to push it forward, but the influence, the energy of the moment won't allow it. And that may be due to some memories, memories of frigidity, where perhaps the relationship, maybe you're thinking of leaving because the relationship has gone cold. So things have cooled off. Maybe your feelings are frozen. Maybe you're suppressing your feelings, putting those on ice. There could be a lack of warmth or personal connection in your relationship. Maybe someone is rejected or left out in the cold. Or, you know, you have a relationship where there's not anything happening. Nobody's talking. There's silence, aloofness. And this may be due to cold wars where people punish each other. You know, they're not speaking. And that's the way that they deal with conflict. Uh, So you may be doing something or find yourself in a relationship. Maybe this is somebody you were tied to in another life. Maybe it's because of past conditioning, past lives. Uh, You may be, you know, under coming into an awareness and perhaps mourning, mourning that something is passing away, leaving your life, someone or something or a circumstance. For some of you, maybe you're packing and going somewhere cold, or maybe you left something out of your luggage, or you left some luggage behind, or you're leaving something behind. Now on, oh, before I get there, you also have my body is a lush garden. I am the gatekeeper. So for some of you, this frigidity has a direct correlation to sexual issues, perhaps the inability to connect physically, maybe due to impotence, 
uh, frigidity, lack of libido, lack of attraction. Uh, so, you know, there's, you may have decided that something isn't going to move forward yet because you haven't been able to establish that physical connection or you're choosing not to right off the beginning uh, because you've decided, and rightly so, that you are the gatekeeper to your body. That's your vessel. That's your sacredness. Uh, you, you need to honor and respect it. And so you are in charge of what you decide to give in or give out. Um, so that may be you directly, or perhaps you're meeting with frigidity in another person. Somebody may be putting boxes or bags outside, or uh, again, you feel rejected or left out because of emotional baggage that you're carrying or dealing with in others. Now, the last date is the 31st. So there is a promise and this promise may be, you know, an offer. Uh, it could be getting married, an engagement to be married, a proposal. For some of you, this is an agreement, a contract, unions that are legally binding. So you're looking at your commitments to others, some kind of obligation or undertaking. Now, this may be business oriented. Uh, maybe, you know, you have a promise that was made to take a trip, uh, maybe you're some kind of commitment, a travel commitment where you have to go somewhere to handle some business, could be something was left out of an agreement. Uh, and maybe, you know, you're dealing with the ramifications of that. For some of you, this is social. This is a social engagement, a party, an invitation of some sort. And there's boldness. Somebody's putting something out there. So this could be, again, a happy occasion, a social engagement where there's laughter, enjoyment. For others of you, you may be taking a risk of some sort or putting it out there, what you expect as far as an arrangement, an agreement. Uh, and for others of you, you need to tread lightly. You need to be careful because, again, there's something going on where you may, be, may have been left out or something's put on hold. So something is not moving forward yet. But if I bend toward the sun, I will grow. So, you know, this is about keeping that positivity going, looking for the positive in a situation, moving toward your destiny, focusing on your happiness, your success, your well-being. And it's interesting you have this frigidity and this sun card. So uh, you may want to put something on hold or deep six it or freeze it and yet, or you, you feel like that's going to happen and yet if you keep being positive, you're going to grow. Something is going to move forward. So some agreement or engagement may be very successful for you. The underlying energy is the legacy reversed. So there could be a feeling in a relationship that may have cooled off because one of you felt like you were marrying down or you weren't equals or you you were involved with somebody from a different social status or a different background you may have different value systems one of you may have been way more conservative or traditional and that didn't sit well with the other one uh, it could be a feeling of dating out of your league maybe one of you has more money is more attractive has more influence more power there's some kind of mismatch here as to why something is not moving forward. Now, this may be all in your head. could be your imagination. Uh, could be you're focused on the difference, the conservatism. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who uh, appears to be powerful. could be you, you can't come up with any ideas of how to put something on solid footing, or maybe there was too much playing around or not enough. You couldn't get something started because of the inaction that took place. But your advice is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, you know, if you've been thinking, hey, we're mismatched or we don't go together or there's an inequality here, maybe you need to, you know, open your mind a bit about 
who you're getting involved with. Perhaps somebody is suitable that you hadn't previously considered. This is also uh, advice to get some help. So keep an open mind about getting some help. There could be a situation, again, that you feel is just frozen, stuck, something has cooled off. But if you keep an open mind, some help may arrive for you, especially if you're willing to put in the effort because you know what's at the end, you're not compromising yourself, uh, you're looking toward your destiny and where your success lies. The muse energy for the month is Maya the goddess connected to illusion. So let's see what she has to offer you. When you look at the world, everything you see appears to be real. So it's easy to imagine that your current conditions are influenced only by obvious actions and calculated movements. This is an illusion, as everything is intrinsically connected though not visible to us due to the limitations imposed on our perception by our five senses. Multicultural goddess of illusion, Maya, who appears in Hindu, Buddhist, Greco-Roman, and Scandinavian spiritual traditions and myths, calls you to trust that the invisible world is responding to your deepest desires and intentions to make a better life for yourself and others. You are able to see through the curtain of illusions. Your clarity and intuition is heightened as your next steps are sure-footed. When the goddess Maya chooses to help you, trust that everything you need arises from your world with ease. So, you know, it's important, again, to keep an open mind you may need to sort through some baggage from the past, or again, maybe you're going to take a trip with somebody that you feel passionate about. Whatever it is, you recognize that you know, sometimes you have to deal with some sacrifice or something uncomfortable in order to get the prize at the end. And those things that maybe you feel are frozen because there's still this influence from the past or your past history, Actually, if you make a promise, and perhaps a promise to yourself, that you will seek out the, the light, help will arrive for you. You'll be able to cut through the illusion. Something about you know whether you are in the right place, in the right moment, and with the right people. All right, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notify bell button. And please, leave me some comments.